Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Rosie here, and, um, I just watched this yesterday, and as, and as much as, like, as much as this trailer, like, is simple in concept, and even kind of simple in execution, like, just, it, it, it does, I, nothing here is extravagant in terms of the technique that, that, that is going on here, but, I don't know, there's something about this that is very captivating, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is that, that makes it so captivating, but just from this, apart from, like, Godzilla and Kong, I guess, because I've been waiting for that one for a while, but this looks to be one of, like, a very sleeper hit in terms of, uh, in terms of, like, a, a horror, and I don't, I, I haven't even heard of this until it just randomly popped up on my, on my feed, like, it wasn't in any of the listings I saw for movies coming out this year, it just randomly popped up, this movie is called In a Violent Nature, okay, and, uh, I just thought we would kind of go through the trailer a little bit, just kind of explain some of my initial thoughts, but this, the more and more I watch this, the, the more that it is quickly becoming one of my most anticipated movies of the year, and again, there's not much here, but again, you don't need much, you need enough, and that's something that trailers have completely lost, like, this is a very well done trailer, you don't need much, you need enough, and I, I think that, I think that this really gets that concept, but, and you'll kind of see what it is here as we kind of go forward. Shudder is making this. Which, if, if y'all, the last big time release that I saw from Shudder that actually was in the theaters was uh, Skunkamarink. And, <laughs> you recall, I was not a big fan of Skunkamarink, okay? And, th to, 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 be, to be blunt, this movie looks, from the trailer, to be the complete opposite of Skunkamarink. Uh, in terms, in terms of how that was like, just it, film, tri film Twitter licked Skunk and Marink's ass and pretty much carried the movie's quote unquote analysis, even though there really wasn't much going on. It was a bunch of fuckers just kind of making their own head cannons, making like th this. This looks to be a little bit more straightforward in, in a much, in a much better way. Let's check this out. You'll kind of see what I mean. Ooh. Film festival. I'm not gonna talk much. I'm just gonna let you see what's going on here. There we go. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of just. Oh, here we go. Big scary guy in the woods. Here come the bitches. Let's 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 go get them, bro. Here come the bitches. Let's go. Let's go get them. I kind of like the interesting kind of concept here, where we're just kind of following the killer, like, from his, from, like, like we're, we're, like, the perspective of, like, kind of almost his sidekick, almost, as he, as he kind of seems to be going around, trudging through the woods, kind of doing his own thing, and, and, and I don't know, this is my, this might just be rereading too deep, too deep into it, lol, me doing the work again, but, the, like, the distance between, like, we are closer with the killer in, in the trailer, in terms of the bitches, where they come in on their, on their big car that's in the distance, we're not with the bitches, we're with the killer, this is kind of, and like, we're not, we still don't see his face, there's still, like, the, the, the fact that his back is turned to us, mostly the entire trailer, as you'll come to see, is just, like, like, I mean, he's not, like, the fact that his back is to us, like, we're not supposed to be rooting for him, there's distance between the killer and the audience, etc. So even though the killer is kind of framed to be, like, the quote-unquote protagonist, in the, at least in this particular trailer, like, the fact that he is c conveyed to us only through these back shots for 99% of, of the trailer is it does a good job of communicating just who he is and how we're not supposed to be rooting for him. And also the sound design, top notch, very basic sounds like not a lot, let's not, but it's like, it kind of fits the aesthetic here, kind of gets you in the, in the mood and also the setting very Jason, but we'll get to the Jason stuff in a second. What the
animals don't get too hung up on reason. They just keep killing. Then the courts kind of pops up there in the water. May 31st. That's all you fucking need, bro. Like, that's that's it. And then that's that that's literally the trailer, guys. That's it. Like, like, I don't know. I see, I don't know. And again, it's it's a very basic watch. And the first time I saw it, I'm just like, huh, that looks kind of neat. But then it's like a couple hours later, I like I didn't realize how much this actually resonated until a couple hours later I thought about it again. And I was like, you know, that was a really good fucking trailer. And I watched it again, and I'm watching it again, and again, and again, and I'm like, this looks really good. This looks really interesting, and it's a, it is a slasher. The, 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 the uh, description made no attempt to hide that. The killer does appear to be, based on the, based on the description on, on Shudder's YouTube channel, it, the, the description on the YouTube channel says, Delve into the wilderness where an undead horror awakens and a violent nature flips the script on traditional slashers, inviting you to witness the rampage from the monster's eyes. Seize the bone-chilling experience in theaters starting May 31st. So there you go. You're kind of following the killer around in this movie. And man, the killer is undead. Uh, so uh, from this, so, so you should you have no... no you're going in knowing what this is. They're kind of being up front. Yeah, if you recall my Jeepers Creep, my biggest issue with the movie Jeepers Creepers, if you're really deep into the rosy lore and you've spit on streams before, I've explained why I do not like Jeepers Creepers with the blatant, with the like, it, it, the fucking scary guy in the car dumping bodies in his shaft. That was much scarier than when he sprouts wings in his Satan and eats you for 27 days for whatever the fuck the movie was about. I haven't seen that pedos movie in a while. But. But but it's like we net, like the fact that we're follow we're like we're following the killer, but we don't see the killer's face. We're not close with the killer, despite the fact that like we're kind of physically close to him, right? So, and again, we still don't. We, again, we don't see the killer's face ever. And then he picks up a mask, which uh, it's like a it's like a kind of a gas mask. It's even That's kind of the best look you get of it, right there, almost. Maybe we'll get. Maybe this bitch moves her legs. Yeah, you don't. You don't really get a good shot uh, of the killer, but it just kind of. And then this this rant, this ending sequence again, just kind of just the various shots of, of of the fucking massacre that this guy's gonna do. And then the final line here: Animals don't get too hung up on reason; they just keep killing. Very good. That's not what. Well, whatever the backstory is here, it really doesn't matter. Undead horror awakens. He's gonna go kill bitches for probably an hour and a half, two hours, and we're gonna follow him the whole time as he does it. This movie, honestly, like it, it, it they could really like do something special here. Where if it, it, like I, I see again, I don't know if they're gonna do this, but it could just be. And I get it, it. It would trick you. It wouldn't really be one long camera shot. But like they could like truly like splice together the footage, it, kind of like the opening of Halloween, the the original, not the call fuck you bitch, uh, <laughs> of course. But like, like the opening of Halloween, I was like, it tricks you into thinking there's like it's one long uncut shot. There are there is a cut. I think the cut happens outside if I remember correctly. But it's like if they do a good job editing this, they could splice this together to kind of just make a movie that kind of just. Follows the killer's perspective the entire time with barely any dialogue. Because you don't really need dialogue. Like, you just kind of follow the killer around. You kind of know what he's about. He's not, he's undead. He's a zombie or whatever. He kind of like, and kind of like Jason. This would be a really cool movie for Jason, honestly, which I posted this onto my Facebook page and, uh, I think it was King Jim. I think that's I think that's the guy's I, I have King King Jim found me on Facebook because I posted a comment on a Dead by Daylight page he was also in. So funny stuff. I post <laughs> But uh uh, and so I got and King Jim on my uh, on my Facebook. He says it's kind of like a, a Friday the Thirteen ripoff. Which I mean, this would be this would be a cool movie for Jason. It kind of gives Never Hike Alone esque vibes almost. But it's like Never Hike Alone. You were still kind of following the protagonist versus Jason. But like this kind of more intimate, or and Never Hike Alone was like that one guy versus Jason pretty much the whole time. This kind of just kind of just be following the killer. You don't get you don't I mean you really don't get much here but what they give you with the setup and then just some of the footage and then the sound design like they this is a good well constructed trailer and again 
I promise, like, if you, like, reflect on this and kind of how good this is, like, I, I think if you're anything like me, at least, you will find yourself coming back to this. And, 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 and again, it's not something that it's like, it, it's just like, a couple hours later, they'll go, huh, I, that, that, why is that trailer on my mind? That trailer is still, that, 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 this trailer, well, simple, it, it had a certain resignation. It, it has a certain, it resonated with me a little bit. And, 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 it's, and this movie is coming. And I, I am very much excited for this to come out and we'll probably be reviewing it when it comes out. I just wanted to make this video because, again, I give you guys fine quality content. I, pr I always promote what I think looks good and is worth your time. And I, I, I be seeing this and I'm going, this this might actually be worth y'all's time. So I made this just because I wanted y'all to know it exists. And do that with what you will with it. But I think this looks fascinating and I can't wait to see it. Oh, well. GG's, boys.